Hey everybody, this is Brett and today I'm doing something really important that I've wanted to do for a long time and that is I'm advertising for the earth. Now you know that when the, the voting, the political season comes around that the, uh, the politicians, they've all got their advertisements on every corner and you see one of these core class signs here and um, they're wanting you to vote for them. Today, I'm making a sign, and I'd like you to do the same. Now, if I could get everybody in the world to go over to Lowe's or Home Depot and buy one of these 24 by 18 white core plast signs, and then make an advertisement for the world, for the earth, for something righteous, and then go out and nail it to a pole. And you want to nail it way up high so that jokers can't get it down. So um, today I'm going to make one of these signs. And I've got some low VOC paint. And I'm going to show you exactly what I'm doing here. Maybe I'll kind of switch sides like that. Yeah. Okay, so, Okay, so I'll be back in a minute. I gotta go do a massage and we'll finish the sign. Okay, I'm done with my massage. I want to thank Gina, one of my viewers from Norfolk, Virginia, for coming to Asheville. They were coming to see some relatives and so she stopped by and got a good massage. She does massage herself and um, it was cool to see one of my viewers actually here at the house. But, um, <clears throat> so what I'm using here is Apple Barrel acrylic paint. It's a low odor, water soluble, but it's good outdoors. And I know this because I've used it outdoors before. So that's where, what it is. Got it at a uh, some kind of a, a craft store, and um, so there's the main sign, save the earth. And bear in mind, I was just thinking to myself that anything worth anything, and I've told you this so many times before, it takes hard work and effort. And I am going to do up this sign now with a whole bunch of colors radiating out from the center. And I'm working for Jah, God, for those of you that don't know the African word for God. It's Jah, Jah. And I'm working for Buddha. And uh, I'm working for all things good and great. And you can make up anything you want to with these signs because if it's righteous it's likely that it's going to stay up if it's high on the pole <laughs> it's more likely that it's going to stay up so um, I'll continue on and stick with me here because we're going to go out and we're going to put this sign up you and me and Chakra is going to go with us we're going we're gonna to hang them high and we're going to put it in a really high profile place where hundreds if not thousands of people will say, yeah, save the earth. In their minds they'll say that and they'll do something. They'll make more of an effort. And I don't care where you're at in this world. You can find some of this coroplast material and you can go out and advertise for 
the earth and humanity and the animals and the plants, everything. All right, hang with me. Ain't no stopping us now. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Ain't no stopping us now. Okay, so what do you think? Pretty good, I think, for a first sign. Now, actually, I did this a long time ago in Ogden, Utah. I put up various signs all over, you know, and, and after about a few months, I would say to someone, like, incidentally, Oh, have you seen that sign over there stating, Walk your dog, or, um... Be kind to animals or something like, you know, something cool and righteous. And they'd be like, yeah, that is so cool. I wonder who's doing that. And I'd be like, yeah, <laughs> I wonder. Some people I told, you know, but not very many because I wanted to keep it a secret. And so this is what I suggest that you do. Um, what you're doing is you're building brownie points with the earth. And you're doing something in freaking incredible. And, um, you know, I'd like you to, to make a bunch of these signs, at least one, two, three, and you might get into it because it's fun. You see, I've had some fun here. But um, go out and put the signs clear up on a good pole. You can take them out in the middle of the day or do it at night if you don't want to be seen. And... Um, Hammer it on there with a good roofing nail, a broad head roofing nail. One there and one there. And um, make sure that they can't reach it. You want to take a ladder with you. And I'm going to make another video showing me putting this up probably tomorrow because I want to let it dry really well. And uh, I decided that I wanted to make a video for the first part of it, creating the uh, sign, and then the second part of it, putting it up. And um, I want this to go viral. I want everyone in the world to start putting up these signs. And, and unless you make the effort, it's not going to happen, okay? you got to to get out and, you know, there's five bucks for one of these Coroplast signs at, at Lowe's. And um, you've got to spend a little bit of money. You may already have the paints. You might steal one of the politician's signs or know where there's one out there already. It's a good cause. It's a good cause and the earth will love you. And if you make a really great sign like this, it might stay up for a long time, working hard for free. You know how much money people pay to have advertising like this out there in the world? A lot. And you can affect some major change. So what I'm shooting for here is a pyramid scheme. A multi-level marketing deal where I'm at the top, woo, and all of you down below me start to make signs and put them up everywhere, everywhere in the world like this or something that you think is really special and needs to be said that the news isn't going to say because they think that, well, people aren't ready or... Or it's not good publicity, it's not going to get good ratings, whatever. You have the ability now, I have the ability to make a radical change with advertising. You're becoming your own advertising executive. Woo! All right, so thanks for joining me and be sure and watch the next episode where I Put the sign up on a pole on a busy street. See you.